Hello and welcome to our devotional here at North Village Church in North Austin, Texas. It's great to be with you today. I'm James Zimmerman. Let me ask you, how important is it that we have confidence in our Heavenly Father? How much does it matter in our lives to have that confidence? If you would have known me back in 2005, you would have saw me go through the most difficult challenge of my life. I was 26 years old, and as a result of a terrible accident, I lost over 90% of my vision. Doctor said there's no cure for it, there's no medicine, and it is expected to be permanent. So at 26 years old, I was just getting started with my life. I had just started a wood flooring business that was doing quite well at the time. So I had to give that up. And in a lot of ways, I was starting to feel like life, that my life was over. So I had a choice to make. I could either have confidence in God and take the next step in life and trust God to open a new door for me. Or I could just quit. I could give up. Give in to depression, drug abuse, alcohol. I guarantee if I would have done that, I would not be talking to you today on Facebook. But that could be you today. Maybe something's going on in your life and you're saying, I don't know if I can take that next step. I don't know if I have the confidence in my Heavenly Father to take care of me or to open new doors in my life. Our pastor, Michael Dennis, has been leading us through a sermon series called Confidence. And we've been going through the book of Joshua. And I love Joshua because Joshua is the one who believed. He's the one who said, I don't care if there's giants in the land. My God is bigger than those giants. And in Michael's sermon on April 14th, you can find those sermons on northvillagechurch.com. But in his sermon on April 14th, our pastor, Michael Dennis, said, we should make every decision in life based on God's glory. How different would our lives look if we based our decisions on God's glory instead of our own fears and uncertainties? But I think it's funny that the generation before Joshua, they were afraid of the giants in the land, so they never entered. You know what they did? They wandered. They wandered in the desert. For the rest of their life. And that's exactly what happens to you and me when we don't have confidence in our Heavenly Father. We wonder. I wonder if God's going to supply my needs. I wonder if God hears my prayers. I wonder if God really forgives my sin. Wonder, wonder, wonder. But the most beautiful part of the Promised Land story to me is that God puts his finger on your life and on my life today. Because even as you're watching this video, there's something in your life you're reaching for. There's some kind of hope, some kind of dream, some prayer that you're hoping God is going to answer for you. And in between that dream and you, there's giants, there's uncertainty, there's fear, perhaps, or maybe there's a, a period of time that you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to persevere. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to be patient. So what is your promised land today? Are you listening to the promise of your heavenly father? Or are you fearing the giants. 
You know, after I had that accident in 2005, I met the love of my life, Ruthie, and we started attending church again. And I'd been playing piano since I was a child. So I prayed to God and asked him that if he would bless me with his music, that I would give him all the glory. And so I kept praying and I kept practicing. I practiced my piano every day because it was hard to relearn how to play the piano with the compromised vision that I had. So I kept practicing and I kept praying and I kept writing and I kept hoping and I kept dreaming. And in 2009, in December, Ruthie and I released our first album titled Walking Home. We had three songs on that album make the national inspirational country music top 20 charts. And in 2010, we were invited to Nashville to play at the awards week for the ICM Awards. Glory be to God that he gave me the confidence, confidence to take one more step. Does confidence matter? You bet it does. It mattered to the children of Israel thousands of years ago, and it matters for you and me today. I want to share a chorus with you that I wrote uh, years ago, and I never finished the song. Uh, so you can call me a lazy songwriter if you like. But I'm going to read the lyrics to you. It goes like this. If you're praying for a miracle and you need it right away, remember back at Jericho, they marched for seven days. So when your marching feet get tired and you need to see a sign, remember, God has the answer. Sometimes it just takes time. Are your marching feet tired today, child of God? Are your giants looming over you, causing you fear and anxiety to where you don't know if you can even take that next step? Remember, Confidence means everything. Confidence in your Father. So lift up your head, child of God. Get your feet moving, soldier, because your promised land awaits you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm James Zimmerman here at North Village Church in North Austin. Visit us at northvillagechurch.com or even better, come worship with us Sunday morning, 1030 a.m. We'd love to have you. your confidence in your heavenly father be blessed